it's Emma Holmes and I'm going to talk today for just a squidgy little bit about how important it is that you maintain your integrity within your business and I know that this one is one that is super super important to lots and lots of my fans and it's super important to me. It is uber important that I um, ma maintain my integrity within my business at all times. It is something that I regard so highly and I protect so fiercely and there will be times in your business when people call your integrity into question, people will, for whatever reason, it's usually their own stuff, um, poke you a little bit about your integrity and I've seen it happen. I've seen lots of people who are um, really doing their best and really looking to build a fantastic business that as soon as somebody questions their integrity, they fall to bits and they are defensive and they feel hurt and they feel let down and they feel like they really shouldn't bother anymore and it's really hurtful when somebody questions your integrity because yes business is business but when you're running your coaching business and you're putting your heart and soul into everything you do then when somebody questions your integrity it can hit like a knife and just because somebody is questioning your integrity doesn't mean that that's the truth it doesn't mean that you have to crumple and fall down what it means is that you have to consider the situation you have to look at whether or not it's something that you could have done differently or whether or not the, the person questioning your integrity whether it's their stuff because often it is it's their stuff and it's stuff that you know it's nothing to do with you and you've got to um be big and brave and move on from it and when you are looking at building a really big coaching business like I say for me the heart of everything is my integrity there is lots of things that I could be doing that would bring lots of channels of income to me that doesn't they don't sit right with me there are things that um, you know could potentially make me a lot of money but because they don't sit right with me they're not something that I'll implement in my business and does that mean that I'm leaving money on the table well in some circumstances yes it does it means that I'm leaving some money on the table but it means that I'm also doing business in a way that sits right and feels right for me that is all about serving my audience and my fans and making sure that they are getting the very best experience when they're buying from me. So one example of this is the um, the trend of, of these let's pretend webinars. So these are webinars where people are um, getting you on board and saying, come along, come along. They've been going for a little while now um, and they're going, come to my live webinar. And actually, they're not live at all. Because when you actually look at them, they're doing six or seven a day, every day of the week, for the next three weeks. And these are pre-recorded webinars. And that's fine. It's fine to do pre-recorded webinars. But for me, I won't tell people that they're live if they're pre-recorded webinars. Because I don't want to set out a footing with my crowd of lying to them at the very outset. I want to make sure that we're building a relationship based on trust, based on integrity. And... Um, but to go one step further, a lot of these live webinars now allow you to uh, predetermine a chat facility on them. So you put a chat facility on there. So when people come along, they actually think that they're partaking in live chat. Well, that really doesn't sit right with me. It's not something that I would do. It's not something um, that I would put out there because... I think that when you're building a relationship with your audience, that relationship is based on honesty, it's based on trust, it's based on them knowing that they can rely on you. So that's one of the reasons, you know, that um, one of the things that I could be doing that would allow me to get out there and, and help more people, have more live webinars, have more urgency within my webinars, um, because people would think that they are on a live call. And I've found that uh, statistically, live calls continue to convert better than pre-records. Um, if you're going to then do a sales pitch within the webinar and transfer people from observers into paying clients. But it doesn't sit right with me. So my live webinars are live. And if I don't say that they're live, then it might be that they're pre-records. But if I say that I'm doing a live call, you and me are sitting down and we're doing it live. You know, I'm talking to you live. It's something that I am um, streaming at the time that you can get involved in. 
Another one is um, about, you know, value of each client. And, you know, people talk about trying to get as much value as you can out of every client that you have got. Make sure that they keep spending. Make sure that you continue to make that client value go up and up and up and up and up. Because it's much easier to get people to buy from you once they've already bought from you. So keep them buying from you. Make them return. Make them buy again and again and again and again and again. I don't see my fans as walking purses. I don't want to try and squeeze and squish every single last bit of income out of every client because that's not the way I am and that's not the way that I work. Yes, my clients do go on and buy other things from me. Yes, they continue to rise up my client ascension path and buy further products and programs which will help them, but I'm not there to wring out every single penny. Again, does that mean that I'm leaving cash on the table? Yeah, it probably does. It probably does because I could probably take the average value of all of my clients further and further and further and further up if I um, put together a plan to do that. But that, again, isn't me. I want to make sure that I'm building my business based on integrity. I want to make sure that I'm building my business where people know that, you know, I am doing the best that I can for my fans. I want to help and nurture and support my fans. You know, my biggest goal and, you know, the greatest happiness is brought to me when my fans are doing well and when I can see my clients uh, coaching businesses just skyrocketing and, and making more and more money and having more and more success and helping more and more people. So for me, integrity is important. Integrity is very, very, very important. And it is something that I will fiercely guard. But there will be times when people question your integrity. There will be times when you feel as if your integrity is being brought into question. There will be times when people um, react about circum certain circumstances, they say things without thinking them through, or it's their stuff. So it's not always a matter that your integrity has been um, diminished if somebody questions it. It may be their stuff, so don't let it completely floor you. But guard your integrity fiercely. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.